late. Uh, we got grandkids here and all that kind of stuff. And so I had to feed the dogs and all that. So I'm oh, sorry. We're a little bit late. Okay, I got a whole bunch of administrative stuff to tell you guys. And um, I'm going to get right to it. Okay, um, if you're here or if you guys see this person, these two people here, um, let them know. Okay, Mork and Mandy and Denny Moore have until tonight when this live is over with to send me an email with their address for their prize from last week. It's been seven days as of tonight. So Mork and Mandy and Denny Moore, I need an email from you about your uh, winnings with your address so I can get them out. Okay, next thing is I've decided to change... Uh, some of the giveaway rules and one of them the one I'm, I'm uh, Concerned about is the seven days to reply Okay, because a lot of times that okay, I'm I Got 15 things going through my head um, I'm gonna cut it down to three days and the reason being is because I'm waiting and like if I got something to mail and I'm waiting for the seven days to get up for that person to contact me it's just dragging things out. Okay, so I'm going to give you three days to reply with your address and tell me what you want and all that kind of stuff. The second thing I'm going to change is instead of putting in the subject line what you won, I want you to put your name there. And because if your email address is different from your name, if your YouTube address is different from your name, it's just making tons and tons of more work. So I've decided from now on, because I, I know the name of the person, I just don't know, you know, their address and all that. So in the subject line from now on, when you email me about your giveaways, please put your full name. And I, you know, I can figure it out from there. Okay? So that's, I've decided to do these two things because it's just going to make things a lot easier on me. So in the past, I had you put what you won in the giveaway, you know, in the subject line. Now I want you to put your name. Okay? No longer seven days to reply. I'm cutting it down to three. Okay? A lot of places just give you 24 hours. I gave you guys the seven days because I'm late at everything I do. You guys know that. I'm late tonight, right? So, um, but I think three days is sufficient. Now, the reason why I'm willing to switch it to the three days is because I went through and got all my addresses. A few people did not contact me, okay? And the seven days had passed for those people. And so now I have two large giveaways that didn't get claimed, which will benefit you guys, right? Um, but the thing about it is is that I went through and deleted every single email in my email addresses. So if there was something important in there, I answered as many as I could. I went back as far as I could. You guys know my, what my last four months have been like. And, um, you know, without getting into all of it, you know, I was in the hospital. My mom passed away. Mark's daughter's in a coma. We had COVID. I mean, the list just kept going. And... Um, so I was way behind on comments, which I got caught up today, and way behind on emails, which I got up caught up as best I could, okay? So the only two people that I haven't heard from are the two I mentioned, and they have until tonight, and the other two people that didn't claim their prize, the prize is going back up. Okay, so I just wanted to let everybody know that if there was something in my email, like a question you had for me or something like that, please resend it. Because I went through and did the best I could. I went back a couple of months and answered what I could, and the rest of them got deleted. I just, there was 4,700 emails in three months. Yeah. And on my giveaway one, I went through that one, of course, because I'm looking for winners. And I went through that one as well. And there was 3,700. So I literally erased 8,000, over 8,000 uh, emails today. And I'm starting fresh. I'm tired of trying to search through all the stuff. And now my next move is to unsubscribe on my email address to all the yarn companies and set up a different email for them because... 
there's like 50 of those and then one from a subscriber, five of those, one from a subscriber. And I mean, it's just overwhelming. So those are the two changes I'm making to the giveaways. I would like you to write in the subject line, your name. And the other thing is it's only going to be three days instead of seven. Okay, and I will reiterate, Mork and Mandy and Denny Moore, I need an email address uh, from you with your uh, mailing address by the end of tonight's live so that I can get those packages out to you, otherwise you forfeit. Okay, as you guys probably seen on the community tab, we hit 4K. Yes, we did. Yay. Oh, that's so awesome, you guys. And I couldn't do it without you. Could we, babe? Nope. Couldn't do it without you. So this is the family. So as far as I'm concerned, we all just hit 4K. And it is time to party. And you know when we party, we party. Okay, so we are going to have our 4K uh, celebration on May the 11th, which I haven't made up the lives for May the 11th. So you will see it in there. But that's going to be our 4K celebration. May 11th is, I believe, the second Saturday in May. Okay, because I was going to make it later in the month, but, uh, and that's also right around Mother's Day, too. So it's going to be kind of a, you know, Mother's Day uh, 4K celebration. Okay, um, and uh, we have my mom's um, a celebration of life. Actually, it's a big, crazy biker uh, <laughs> Native American party on her birthday, which is the 22nd. So um, I won't be able to have that live then. So the 4K is on May the 11th. That's when that party is. Okay, now, uh, next week, I don't remember what the deal is, but Thris has her announcement party on the 27th at 8 p.m. You don't want to miss it. She's got a really cool announcement for you guys. And there'll be prizes and all that kind of thing. She's going to have a party. And uh, we are going to do a raid from here to Thursa's place to celebrate with her. Also, Crystal over at Bag of Days, 1 million subscriber party is on the 20th at 7 Central, which is 8 Central, my time, which is another raid. Okay, which you guys would probably be going there anyway. But um, Crystal over at Bag of Days is on the 20th. So the 20th is Crystal from Bag of Day. We're going to do a raid. The 27th is Thrissus. We're going to do a raid. Okay? So just keep those two things in mind. I'm sure you guys are already well aware. But I was pretty excited to know that, you know, we could all go together as a group. So I thought that was pretty cool. Okay. Um, anything else I need to tell you? Okay. Um, if you notice, there is a gigantic... Mark, can you scooch over and show them that box? There's a gigantic Michael's box behind me. Reason being is last month's big box winner did not claim their prize, which was pretty shocking to me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had that happen. Okay, also, one of the Mary Maxim bag uh, winners did not claim their prize. Okay, so I have took that Mary Maxim bag and I've added some more stuff to it. And that's going to be our uh, ticket prize for tonight. I'll show you all what's in it. Also, too, one more thing. I have two replay giveaways that I haven't called due to uh, everything that's been going on. And I plan on doing those in the next day or two. So watch out for winner videos, little shorty winner videos. Okay, a couple other things I want to show you guys. Okay, this is the basket I started making for Crystal's Bag of Day celebration. This is going to be... Um, when it gets done, this is just the first step. I have to do all the lacy and the braid around the top and the lid and all that. This is uh, the Joseph's uh, Coat of Many Colors uh, basket. And it's technically supposed to be a sewing basket, but I consider it a yarn basket, and I'm sure all you guys would too. But anyways, when I get done with this, this is a prize on her 1 million subscriber party. Okay, so this is not, everybody was going, oh, Crystal's going to love it. This is not for Crystal. This is for Crystal to give away. Okay, so I started that basket yesterday. I hope you guys got a chance to check out the video. I did the best I could. You know, camera angles and tutorial stuff is not for me. You guys know how that works. But I did the best I could to kind of give you an idea of what I was doing. 
but this is going to be just like the one I believe it was Sally Horner that won it with the lace you know the lacy loops and the big colorful braid around the top and then it has a lid and um, that is going to be one of those baskets and that is going to be a giveaway in Crystal's uh, celebration party so I'm pretty excited about that I was so glad that she let me do that I just I just love Crystal and she just deserves that so much you know this big party and all the stuff she deserves all of that and it's funny how when when we have a party we give <laughs> you know most of the time when it's like your birthday or you win a prize or what, you know what I'm saying so I wanted to make sure that I you know helped her out with that kind of stuff and you never know I might have a little something special planned for her as well but that is for her to give away at her 1 million subscriber party so that's what that's about. Everybody was going, oh, Crystal's going to love it. It's not for Crystal. It's for one of y'all. Okay, so I will probably do the lacy stuff, all the fancy stuff on it, the lacy stuff and the and the lid and all that tomorrow. So be watching out for that second video. But I did put out a video with me putting this together. And if you guys got a chance, take a look at it. Okay, let me see. Okay, I want to shout out Mama G as well. She's trying to get her 3K by August. If you not are not subscribed to Mama G, I don't know what you're waiting for. She's one of my best friends. I love her to death. Her and Thrust, and they're just like my besties, you know? And I just want you guys to go over there and check her out. She's real laid back, old hippy dippy, my kind of people. So um, go over and check out Mama G. It's called Mama G Gear is her channel. And somebody can drop at one of the mods or somebody. And then also, too, she has a couple of her 15 Days of Fright Halloween um, Advent calendars left. And, you know, there's going to be some uh, 16, pri you know, uh, things in the Advent. But the last one is two hanks of her hand-dyed yarn. The one that you open on Halloween, which is super cool. So she's still got those going on if anybody is interested. And I guess that about sums it up. Um, also, one more thing. Um, after we get through all the celebrations and all that stuff, we are, I promise, going to start our Hippy Dippy Cal. Our Hippy Dippy Crochet Along. I promise you, it's just been total chaos with Nancy in the hospital. Um, little short update. Um, her kidneys are not well. Um, they put her on the bigger dialysis machine. She's still on a ventilator. She's still in a coma. But her, her blood pressure is staying steady without medication, which is super cool. Um, they were able to sew up the incision in her stomach and remove the vacuum. They took out all of her internal organs, washed them, put them back in, and sewed her up. So she no longer has that vac. So we're really happy about that. So, um, you know, continued prayers, love, and light. I would surely appreciate it, and so would Mark, and so would Nancy. And um, we have Nancy's uh, son, Andrew, here right now. He's playing video games in the other room. And we're all just trying to do the best we can and get through this. So uh, hopefully, God willing, um, she will heal and um, her kidneys will kick into gear and they can take her out of the induced coma and uh, get her on a fast track, maybe to have some rehabilitation or something. That's the goal. So... Okay, so there's an update on Nancy. Okay, that took care of all of it. I need a drink. My mouth gets so dry. Okay, let's start saying hello to everybody. Samantha Murdoch, hello, hello. Cynthia Bailey, Angie Buhanda, Jen's Hobby Nook, Desi's Crochet Cubby Hole. There's my girl Kirsten. Cat's Meow. Hi, Connie. I got my bougie bag. I've been using it too, girlfriend. I got a bougie bag for my friend Connie. I got the Baker. Hello. Uh, Mary King Hobbies and more. Hello. Uh, Naughty by Nurture. Diana D. Cynthia Bailey. Um, do to do, do Desi. Hello, Desi. And there's Gladys. Hi, Gladys. What's with the Black Cat Raid? Oh. If you're over at Mama G, she calls her um, her subscribers black cats. So Mama G always has a live right before mine. So they do a black cat raid over here. So that's what that's about, Gladys. 
Let us hello, everyone. Thanks for coming. Please remember to smash that like button and help D get boosted in the algorithm. That's my girl, Thoris. And don't forget, everybody, she's got that announcement party on the 27th, 8 p.m. Be there or be square. Okay, Fluffy Boots, Crochet Creations. Hello, Fluffy Boots. Jennifer Huckle. Hello, Mary King. Hello, Mateo. And Diana D. Did I say hello? I think I already did. There's my girl, Zoila. Zoila, I hope you got your package. Um, let's see. Kim G. Hello, hello. I can't believe we made 4K, guys. It's just unreal, man. Do you believe we did it? We did it, guys. I can't. I just... If you'd have told me two years ago that we were going to have 4,400 4, 4, people hanging out with us, I'd have never believed it. I'd have told you you were crazy. Okay, Thrifty Crocheter, hello. Cheryl Carter, hello. Yeah, I don't think I this shirt. Everybody's commenting oh, yeah. Everybody's commenting on Mark's parrot shirt mm -hmm. and his cool mm -hmm. hat. <laughs> I got my hippie dippy shirts on, too, but I got peace signs and mm -hmm. I got, wait. Which arm is it? This one? Yeah. I got a peace sign, necklace, earrings, and bracelet. All from Timu for $1.79. That's what I'm talking about shopping. <laughs> Sherry Reynolds, hello. I said hello to Diana Dean, Fluffy Thank Boots. Thank you, Sam, for that. Shirley Bain, hello. Denise Mayer, hello. Donna Savine, hello. Sherry, the Black Cat Raider people. Oh, okay. She's explaining. Okay. Um... Let's see else. who else is in there. Nancy Hudson, hello, hello. Tina, hello. I'm going to go with first names because my voice is giving me heck. Hi, Paula and Sam. Hello, everybody. So glad you came. Amy, hello. I hope everybody's received their uh, prizes in the mail. You should have gotten them by now. Um, Terry Crafty, if you're in here, I got your email. I'm sure you, you've seen that. And we'll probably ship that out on Monday because I didn't get it until late. So, um, it'll be on its way Monday. Um, let's see. Don and Hala having fun. Hello, hello. And let's see. I said, hey, Allie. Hello, my friend. Let's see. Let's see. I'm looking. I'm looking. Jenny C. Hello. Everybody's talking to everybody. Hello, Jen Reeves. Let's see. So we love saying the big long list of hellos as usual. She's on top of it. That girl's got it going on. There's Mama G. Thank you very much. Congratulations on 4K. Delicious and Markalicious. We're delicious and Markalicious. <laughs> Thanks, G. I love you, girl. Uh, everybody do the thumbs up. Zoila's reminding ya. Oh, that was me. I was going to say, I'm going to be right there. Ooh, uh, that was me that did it. She's a piece of this memory of mine. Mm -mm -mm. Did I say hello to Yvette? If I didn't, hello. And Denisha. Denisha. I think that's how you say it. You know me and names, guys. Denisha, if it's not, kind of put a way to pronounce it for me. That's always helpful. See Sherry R. Stitching on a hill, Diana. Hello. Hello, Jen. W Wolgaroth. I'm getting better, I think. Maybe. <laughs> I'm Marie Simpson. Oh, man. Let's see. Looks like I've said hello to all these folks. I've said hello there. I'm going to uh, run and get me a, a water. I'll be right back. All right. Janet Bales, hello. I'm going to say hello. Mark's going to run and get himself a bottle of water. I know we made it to the 4K. It's so incredible, guys. Like when I started this channel, I was like, if you know, 10 people show up, and I was like, oh, we're at 100. Now we're at 4K. Somebody smack me. <laughs> I can't even believe it. Oh, man. I'm right behind that thing, aren't I? That email address. I'm sorry, guys. I need to lift my chair up. Wait till Mark gets back. Oh, let me see. Flower Tammy. Hey, dear Mark and all of you beautiful friends. Hello, girlfriend. Let's see. 
do, do. There's Terry Crafty right there. Okay, so she probably heard what I said. Okay. I'm looking to see if I missed anybody. D and Mark is in the house. Sorry, I just love you. Hi, Queen's Crafts by Bridget. Glad you can make it, girl. And Dustin's here. Hello, hello. And Cynthia Bailey has been a member for one month. You rock, Cynthia. Space Cadet, hello, hello. I crochet Sonia West, hello. Sue Lufer, hello. Errol Lover, hello. Kimberly Otterson, hello. Welcome in. Heidi B, hello. Okay, I'm getting down here to some different names. Veronica, hello. Ellen, the crazy crafty lady. So glad you could make it. Let's see. Cal's Crochet, oh, <clears throat> excuse me, Cal's, Cal's Crochet Corner. D, take a drink. Thanks for all the congratulations, guys. This is a, a we thing. This ain't no me thing. This is a total we thing. Our family is growing. Hello, Quilty Crochet on Oodles Caboodles. Eat Smiley Lady. <coughs> Hello, Cynthia. Grandma Wanda's in the house. Hi, Dee and Mark. I received my bag yesterday, love it, and did an opening video. Cool. Thank you for doing the video. We all appreciate that, you know. Three days is reasonable. That's what I was thinking, Space Cadet. I think three days is completely, uh, you know, a reasonable amount of time. I used, you know, like I said, give you guys seven, but sometimes people forget. You know, I'm thinking if after three you don't remember to, to email, you're not thinking about it. You know what I mean? Thank you for the super stickers, everybody. By the way, I'm going to show you guys uh, what the ticket prize is for tonight. I'm looking to see if I missed anybody. Cal's Crochet Corner. Hello, hello. Dory Dunn did it. It's in the house. Hello, Dean and Mark. Love your hat. Wow. I know. Mark, he's snazzy dresser, that man. <laughs> Uh, oh, you became a new member, Donna Marie Ewing. Well, thank you so much. Welcome in. Lulu's Treasure Trove has been a member for 16 months, y'all. Has it been that long? Wow. Hi, Precious. How are you? So happy to see you and Mark on your Saturday Night Live. Such a blessing. Blanket hellos and love to everyone here. That was from Cindy Lulu. Um, let's see. Oh, thank you so much, Sonia. Lisa Donato, hello. Deb Richardson, hello. <clears throat> Everybody, make sure you got your thummies. Helps with that algorithm. Oodles and Caboodles has been a member for 11 months. My OGs are in the house. Elizabeth Tyler, hello. Let's see, Alice Burns, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Let's see, Elizabeth Holler, I see Janet Dixon today. Only 79 thumbs. Come on, y'all. Give me some thummies. We got to celebrate. <laughs> and Candy has been a member for four months. Congratulations on the 4K. Thank you, Candy. Let's see. Jerry Ann Gordillo Marty. Hello from rainy California. This is my first time on your live. Well, welcome in. I hope you have fun tonight. I'm getting through these hellos, and we're going to get down to business. And Chanson's been a member for two months. You guys rock. I love my OGs. Let's see. Dana, uh, Dana Ballard. Hey, all. I'm sorry I'm late. You're never late. Never. Nobody's ever late here. You just come in when you can. We appreciate you being here. And... Alice Burns is waving hello. Yes. And everybody's saying hello to each other. Let's see. Oodles and Caboodles sending love, hugs, and positive Show thoughts to all. Girl. Thank you so much. Stephanie Hoffer. Well, hello there. Welcome in. Cindy M. Hello, hello. <coughs> Excuse me. Beth Essenbees. Essenbees? That's another one somebody's going to have to put out there. I'm just going to call you Beth. Hello, Beth. <laughs> Diane English. Hello, hello. Welcome in, welcome Cast in. Cast me out. Jeez, thank you, Cast me out. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Gladys. 
Kristen F., hello. Yeah. Yvette, and I, I kind of gave a report on Nancy. Um, let me get down to the bottom of the chat. If you guys need a, a, me to re-say it, I will. Pam, your your prize is on the way. I've emailed you back and told you, and it's on its way. If you haven't gotten it yet, I'm surprised. It is on its way. Yeah, that is a crap load of emails. Yeah, I replied to your email, Pam, so it's on its way. You're good. Um, Diana D., thank you so much. Elizabeth Tyler loves your hat, Mark. Jenny Leslie, hello, hello. Thank Welcome you, in. Billy Joe Murray, hello. Thank you for the super chat, too. Okay, Don't Let's see. Man. Fluffy Boots has been a member for four months. Dean Mark, love you guys. Congrats on making 4K. I'm so excited to see you get even more. Oh, thank you. Happy I get to spend my Saturdays with y'all. Well, we are happy to spend it with y'all, too. Oh, um, Desi's Crochet Cubby. Um... In your case, because you have a channel, um, I'm going to see that it's from Desi's Crochet Cubby, so I will write Desi's Crochet Cubby on the note I put in the Desi package. Cubby. But definitely write your real name in the subject line. So I, you know, for those that have different emails than their, you know, YouTube name or different names from either of those two, it just makes it easier. You know, in your case, you could put Desi's Crochet Cubby slash your name. You know, if you have a channel or a channel name, even if you don't put up content, if your name is different than what your actual name is, I need to know that because I'm looking for the name I see on YouTube. And then, um, you know, some people's uh, email address is even different from that. So it gets very confusing. So I need to know what I know you as. If I know you as Desi's Crochet Cubby, that's what you need to put in your subject line. If I know you as Jennifer Ruckel, I need that. Even if you're you've remarried and your name's different and all that. If I see an email from, you know, Crazy Lady Five O Two, I'm not gonna know it's you. You know what I'm saying? So I need to know who I see you on YouTube as needs to be in your subject line. That's all. Just so it makes it easier for me to find you, because I get bombarded. So. Just to make it easier for me to find you so I can get your address and get the stuff out. Um, let's see. Okay. I hope that's understand. I hope you guys are understanding my gist. Uh, Don Aaron, hello, hello. Welcome in, welcome in. Rockin' Emma Creations, hello, hello. I know I'm probably way, way behind. I'm going to do some zooming, guys. Steve's girl, hello. Cindy M, hello. Thank you so much. And uh, Marion Davis, hello. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm zooming, I'm zooming, I'm zooming. Carmen Lessard, hello. Suzanne, hello. Jenny Leslie, I think I said hello, but if I didn't, hello. <laughs> Deborah Richardson, hello. I don't know if I said hello, so I'm going to say it again. Thank you, Paula. Uh, okay, let me see. I'm going to try to zoom. Karen JSP, hello, hello. Sharon Likes, hello. Is that Sharon Likes Purple? And it just says Sharon Likes? Or is it a different person altogether? Sally Stevens, hello. Jessica Johnson, hello. Don't forget your thummies, everybody. Naked Snail, hello there, lady. Uh, let's see. Everybody say hello to everybody. Thanks, Space Cadet. Appreciate ya. Hi, Pauline Richie. Hello, 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 Carla. <clears throat> Let's see. I like being able to say hello. I know you guys probably got sick of it, but I really like saying hello to everybody. May 11th is also uh, Mental Health and Meow's auction, so that's going to be super cool, fun day. May 11th is, oh my gosh. So May 11th is going to be Mama G's Mental Health and Meow's auction. And then right after that is going to be our 4K party. So that Saturday is going to be a ball. Thank you, Dana. Jeez, that's a big $10 super chat. On uh, May nice. 11th. Well, it'll be my normal my normal time, everybody. May 11th at you know 6 p.m. Eastern Thank Standard. So it'll be my normal time. Let's see. 
do to do. D, oh my God, it wouldn't let me type your name. That, <laughs> that's okay, you're all over. <laughs> Mary King's hobby. Did I say hello, Mary? I think I already did, but hello anyways. Julie Amazing, hello, welcome in. Thank you, Quilty, I appreciate it. Stop, you'll claim it. <laughs> I know, right? I can't believe it. Oh, oh, yeah, I got my new sexy specs, man. What do you think? The lady, I picked them, and I said, Mark, I want to get a bigger lens because that line from my other ones was, like, right there. It was really aggravating. I didn't realize how much it aggravated me until I had the glasses for a while. And I said, I need a pair with bigger lenses, but I don't want to look like a total dork, you know what I mean? And then the lady at the place told me, no, that's in. That's in style. It's called Nerdy Chic. So, yeah, I'm Nerdy Chic now. <laughs> nerdy. Give me a break. Nerdy Chic, she calls my glasses. But, yeah, I like them a lot better. And they transition into sunglasses really fast. So these are good glasses. I like them. I wasn't sure, you know, because of how big the lens is. If it, you know, I was going to look like a total dork. But uh, you, you'll claim all the unclaimed prizes, Jen, I'm sure. <laughs> ah, too funny, guys. Okay, I'm just, I'm going to Zoom. If I miss anybody, it's not intentional, but I'm getting way far behind. But I sure like saying hello to everybody. Shirley Bain had, a, had to switch to your phone. Oh, no problem. You got, Dana, you like the basket? Yeah, it's coming out nice. It's very colorful. Um, I don't know whatever which way. But that's, and then there's the bottom. Um, that's it so far, but I haven't even started with the fancy stuff on it. And thank you so much. Uh, Denise Samar, thank you so much. Okay, all right, I'm zooming. Desi's Crochet Gubby, thank you so much. Stephanie Hoffer, welcome in, welcome in. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Cynthia. Cynthia, thank you, Janet. Thank you, Diana D. And Diana D said it was for Zoila. Did you write it down for Zoila or Diana D? See, underneath her thing it says for Zoila. It Just look, even, did you write Diana? It ain't even up on my thing yet. Well, it would say Diana D, honey. And you did. Did you do Diana D anywhere? It was a ways back because you know I'm behind. Look for Diana D and then just put oh. Zoila next to it. Thank you, Dina. Okay, thank you, Errol Lover. Oh, I'm glad you guys like the basket. Thank you, Cindy M. Peace, love, and crochet with Deidre. Hello, hello. Darlene G, hello. Naughty by nature, thank you so much. Let's see, Roseanne Alexander, hello. I'm trying to zoom, but I want to say hello. Okay, I need to do another pop-up live where we can just sit and talk. That's what I need to do. I enjoyed that one we had, but I had to do a fashion show, so I really didn't get to show you all my, you know, finished projects and all that kind of stuff. But the next one, I just want to sit and chit-chat. I envy the people. Mark and Mandy, I hope you heard what I said. You have until after the live tonight to send me an email in the subject line, write Mork and Mandy, and you want a prize, and I need to get it out to you, but you have to claim it by tonight. So when this live is over with, if I haven't received an email from you, then it gets forfeited back in. So make sure, so stop right now and go throw an email and say Mork and Mandy in the subject line and give me your address so I can ship that out. Hi, Diana, Donna H. Thank you so much. Cal's Crochet Corner, thank you. We appreciate you guys so much. Lisa Ellison, hello. Thank you for praying for Nancy. We will take all the prayers we can get. Yeah, those are my new sexy spec, or my my nerdy um, chic. My nerdy chic glasses. <laughs> I thought that was so funny when she said that. Yep. And also, Denny Moore. If Denny Moore is in here, you need to email me as well. Um, Deb Weston's waving hello. Um, you need to email me as well. Thank you, Sam Star. She loves your hat, Mark. Mylan S. Oh, thank you so much. Come on in. Q 
kick your shoes off. Get yourself something to drink. Uh, we love you too, Daz. Okay. D, just curious about the... Pam, I sent it. It's sent. Just hang in there, girl. You've gotten a hold of me on every social media. <laughs> I've been going through a lot, but it's on its way to you. I replied to your last email and let you know that it's on its way. Okay? So it should be... Matter of fact, I'd be surprised, honestly, Pam, if it isn't in your mailbox right now. Okay? Is that sharing likes purple, or is that just sharing likes? I need to know that. Because my thing cut off at sharing likes, and I was wondering if it was YouTube screwing up or, or what. Carrie Leonard, hello, hello. He just finished a dog blanket. I've made so many of those in my time. Um, all the puppies went back to my son, or went to my son's house, and, uh, and Feather uh, went to her new home already. And uh, we really miss them, but we got a lot going on with, you know, Nancy in the hospital and everything. So, you didn't receive a notice. Oh, no, Dawn Aaron, really? Doggone it. But, uh, so, my son's got the puppies over at his place. They turn eight weeks on Wednesday. And, uh, and Feather went to her new home today, I believe. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see. Janet Dixon has been a member for eight months. It's one of my OGs. Hi, Barb Jarvie. She always says, hi, D. I always say, hi, Barb, and every one of my videos. She is a dedicated watcher, and I appreciate her so much. Everybody's saying hello to everybody. Joyce McCormick, hello, hello. And Pam, if you read your email, you, you got your email, girlfriend. Amy Bencourt, 10 months. She's an OG, too. I hope everyone... This is from Br Queen Crafts by Ver mm, Bridget. Which, by the way, if you don't have a Bridget bag, you aren't in the cool kid club. Just saying. I hope everyone is well tonight and making something wonderful. I have three tiny parts to make a finish off. The beautiful Tulip Fairy. Oh, can't wait to show her off. My love to all. I can't wait to see it, Bridget. I bought a crochet book a while back that's all crocheted fairies and a little flowered skirt, you know, flower skirts like a upside down uh, lily or something like that. And I, I've yet to try it, but I did get a book on it. So, and Sh Sherry R, thank you so much. Uh, Oh, good. I'm glad Mark and Mandy got the message. Thank God. And I'm glad Pam's got the message now. So thank God for that one, too. Oh, not so naughty crochet. Don Laval. Hello, hello. Okay. I got it right. Oh, yay. Okay, I got her name right. <laughs> I don't get those too often. I'm terrible with names. Mylon S., thank you so much. We appreciate that. It helps out with that shipping, man. Thank you, Cheryl Carter. You guys are awesome. Okay, Stitching on Hill, thank you. Cats Meow, wow, thank you. We appreciate that. Denise Lee, thank you so much. Everybody's congratulating us. Rita Payton, hello. Mimi, there you are. Hello, hello. Aisha's Handmade Items, hello. Thank you for the congratulations. Here's Angela Wright. Hi, D and Mark and everyone in the chat. How are you doing today? I am doing fine today. I'm drinking water and working on my first Tunisian knit top. Wow. Well, you're something else, girl. I'll tell you. She's always got something going on. Hi, Bert. Let's see if I missed any. Ellen Yarn Over Hooks. Hello, hello. Welcome in, welcome in. Jeannie V's in the house. Hello, lady. Thank you for the congratulations. We appreciate that. Okay, then Thank you, Elizabeth. Time. We appreciate that. Let me see. Marie Simpson. Mary Bell's hooked. Hello, hello. My goodness. There's so many folks. Okay, well, make sure you put your thumbs up. We're almost at 200 people in the chat, y'all. Definitely put those thumbs up. Wow. That blows me away. Especially... I think this is the earliest we've ever... We got to 200, I think, once. Maybe twice. I'm not sure. But I know the first time blew me, blew my socks off. But we're almost at 200. I can't even believe it. 
Well, anyways, let's get into this. Oh, I'm sorry. It's my knee, lady. Oh, Lord, and it's your uh, new knee, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's your replacement part. I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> I'm right trying to break knee. my spare part. I'm trying to break his new parts. <laughs> okay, we got a Mary Maxim bag here. I'm going to put all the small things to the side. Put all that stuff to the side. Okay, we got two cakes. This is from Hershner's Willow Yarns. It's called Wheels. It is 100, boy, 177 yards. It is called Foliage. It is a DK, 70% acrylic, 30% wool. I don't even know where I'm going to put all this stuff. Hold on, let me push that over there and that over there. Okay. Same thing, just a different color. This one is Pansy. There's a lot of yardage on these two. 377. That's a pretty good amount. Okay, this is my last skein of the shawl and the ball in this color. And it's a number four weight, which I don't agree with. That's a three. They're counting the fuzz. It's almost teetering on a two. Um, let's see. It is 58% cotton, 39% acrylic, 3% other fibers. This one's called Community Coral. And I don't see how many yards are in here. Of course, that light is 481 yards. Okay, and this is, uh, this is the color. Um, they, I can't believe they discontinued that yarn. It's just amazing to me. Okay, I'm not even going to try to take these out of here because these are two pounds of, well, they're... Uh, Big twist, the pounds, and there's two in the color purple in there, and this is a Caron anniversary cake, and I believe the color is ocean something. Let me see if I can find it. Well, that's that. That ain't what I wanted. Uh, wouldn't you know it. It's packed in there. Anyways, I'm going to open the bag. It's all in blues. Can you see the Caron Anniversary cake? There's like a thousand, thousand sixty-one yards in that, and it's a five weight, so it's really good for like, you know, a lap blanket, something like that. Okay, so that, that is the yarn for tonight's giveaway. Now, what I did, because the person didn't claim last month's big box, I took that bag of candy. Remember all the candy and the goodies that were in there? Um, there's candy bars and suckers and just all kinds of stuff, plus little put-together uh, crafty things that you can make. Here's a little cauldron for the uh, you know, pot of gold kind of thing. And there's a rainbow uh, three-leaf clover. And there's just all kinds of stuff. This was the goodie bag that was inside the uh, subscriber that didn't claim their prize. This is an amakurumi kit from the Dollar Tree. Comes with the hook, the stuffing, everything you need to make this cutie pie little teddy bear. Um, I had this garland, which is, what is it? Uh, Renewing Minds, it's called. It has rainbows, llamas. Hot air balloons and cactuses. If you see. I thought it'd be cool you could make, you know, make something out of it or use it just like it is in your yarn area. Okay, then we got one of those wrist spinners. And this one came with a handle. For some reason they were sending them to me without handles. But this one it looks like a sun. You can't really tell. It goes from red to like a yellow orange in the center. And this is one of those wrist spinners that you put your cake on. I figured since there's some cakes in there, it's pretty cool. And this was another leftover from the other box. It's pom-pom bunny rabbits. I figured you could do it with your grandkids or whatever. So that's in there. Okay, you got vibe check, positive only. That's our notion pouch for this. And then we have... I'll show the handmade in a minute. Okay, we got a, a set of hooks from, there's a two, a four, 
a three, a six, and a five. So everything from two to a six and the ergonomic hooks also comes with stitch markers and okay. some darning needles. I need to get some darning needles because I'm out. Here is a leather measuring tape. And here's a real pretty set of rainbow iridescent scissors with the kitty cat paw for the protector on it. And there's a sticker in here. I don't know if you guys can really see. I've run out of stickers and I've ran out of um, darning needles. I need to get more off. Okay, there's handmade buttons. Uh, this, they're wooden buttons and they say handmade on them, I should say. And there's a bunch of stitch markers, but um, the only um, darning needles you're going to get are in here. Okay. You know me, I like to make sure you got everything you need when you open a prize. You can just open it up and start making something. If you don't have to run to the store and get something. It's all in there. Okay, your handmade items from me this time. Okay, is this real pretty? My favorite color. Teal. I don't know if you can see. There's uh, some teal hearts, uh, turquoise hearts here at the end. And there's some flowers there, and it's very iridescent, and all glass beads. I always use glass beads or um, semi-precious stones with that stuff. And here's the two stitch markers you get. One is a black and white kitty, and one is a old skeleton key. And this, uh, these beads right here are moonstone. Okay. That's that. Hold on, I'm not done. I put a couple of extras in here today. Okay. Okay, we have a pair of very sparkly, very iridescent handmade earrings. Let me get it off of here. Hold on. And they're little, they're purple and they're iridescent. And they're just little hook earrings. And then I also threw in a turquoise uh, necklace with a turquoise uh, turquoise point necklace. Okay, so that's in there as well. Okay, so that is it. what's in tonight's ticket giveaway. All the goodies and all the handmade stuff. And let me see. Let's see if I can get it back in this Mary Maxim bag. Okay. All right, that's our ticket thing. Oh, I wanted to show you guys, if you didn't see my pictures on my community tab, this is uh, the second section of the bod shawl. Uh, the bod uh, crochet along shawl. Let's see if I can hold it up so you can see it all. No, oh, the light. It's not doing well with the colors. But I've got the second section done, and I'm waiting with bated breath for the third section. Because I'm not one to sit around and wait on a project. When I start doing it, I want to do it. So I'm waiting on that. And then I also got to finish the, the bag. All right. Let's put something in our big bag. Now, you guys know there's uh, crochet books in there. This great big, huge notion pouch filled to the brim earbuds and everything else is in there there's two pounds of love there's this there's a book and a pen or notebook and a pen there's a headset there's amigurumi dino there's one of these from the dollar tree to hold your hooks in and the book we have in here is Oodles of Crochet. It's a, a hardback book. And it says 40 plus patterns for hats, jackets, bags, scarves, to pot holders, pillows, rugs, and throws. There's all kinds of stuff in here. It's a cool book. All right. That's what we got in there so far. Now I'm going to throw a three pack of the Mandala Sequence. This is 295 yards per cake. 
98% acrylic, 2% polyester. It is a three weight. Can you guys, yeah, you can kind of okay. see this, the sequence in there. You can kind of see it. All right, hang on. Let's see. Thrust okay. Two, <clears throat> I'm also throwing in this bobbin. It's got three different colors of green. This is a Premier Anti-Pilling Bobbin. It has a total of 543 yards, 181 yards per color. There's three colors, a solid darker green, a mixture, and a lighter green. Okay, you get 543 yards on this bobbin, and it is a four weight, and it's 100% anti-filling of color. That's going in, and then I got a few more things I'll put in in a minute. Okay, I need a drink. Okay, I have a very unusual replay tonight, replay giveaway, and um, I don't sure it down there so I don't forget. Just wanted to say how again how absolutely beautiful the purple and gray yarn was that I got. Ah. Thank you, Cherry. I'm glad you liked it. It did turn out real pretty. I love that platinum color. It looks good with anything. You guys know I'm not a huge purple fan, but I do like royal purples. Or if they're mixed, you know, in with other colors. Like, I wouldn't wear a purple ombre sweater, for instance. It's too much purple going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for me. I know you guys love purple. You're all purple fanatics. I know it. But for me, it's too much purple, just like the yellow. I wouldn't wear uh, ombre yellow. But I wear ombre just about any other color. So that's the way I can explain it to you. But if it's mixed in with some other colors, then I'm cool with purple. I'm cool with yellow, as long as it's mixed in. Like, you know, me and rainbows, I love everything rainbow. So, you know, you got to have purple and yellow in there. So I'm not excluding those colors, but they're just not my favorite. Kind of like the pop, the purple pop. Yeah, the purple pop's cool because it separates colors. into so many colors. Color purple, pink, yeah. blue. I mean, that I love that dye because it just pops into all different colors. It's super cool. It's very hippy-dippy if you ask me. <laughs> okay, we have an unusual giveaway for our replay. The reason I made it the replay is because not everybody likes rocks like me. And um, I also put a smudge in here. This is sage. It's a smudge bundle. If you guys don't know what that is, I'm Native American. A smudge bundle is you would light this as you would like an incense and go through your house or whatever. And it's supposed to bring good, you know, good uh, positive energy to you. And being a Native American, we smudge almost every day. So this is like a staple around here. But um, here we go with a smudge bundle. Like I said, I know this is not for everyone. So if you're not interested, that's fine with me. You're good. Okay, this is, um, oh, man, I just forgot. Just zoomed right out of my head. It's not a lava stone. It's the kind of stone that you put essential oils and or perfume on, and it, and it absorbs it. So when you wear this bracelet, it keeps your perfume on you. Okay, so this is really cool. Essential oils. Uh, per, like I said, perfume, any anything that smells good, you can put on that bracelet and it'll keep it on you. Okay, the next thing is I put an amethyst necklace in here. And like I said, you guys know I'm a rock lover, so I love all the rocks. And there's an amethyst necklace in there. And then I put some raw crystals, okay? This one is a quartz crystal that is in there. This one is a rose quartz. That one is in there. This is the piece of a geode of amethyst. That's in there. I forget if you guys like rocks like me, you like them. These are citrine points. Those are in there. This right here is, again, amethyst. And these are fluorite. Fluorite comes in a lot of different colors, but those particular ones are a pale blue. Okay, so that's just some pretty stones. I have a whole china cabinet full of pretty stones. I've collected rocks my whole life and arrowheads. and I mean, semi-precious are wonderful, and they're beautiful, especially if they've been tumbled and they're all shiny. But I've even collected rocks like from different states and different places. I've been just a, a stone next to a river or whatever. I love rocks. So not everybody has my love for rocks. So, But I thought I would make this the replay giveaway for tonight. <laughs> 
and let's see. Okay. Let's make the word rocks. Okay? So the replay for tonight is what the word rocks, but you put that in after the giveaway is over with. And I just thought, I, you know, I've been showing you guys all my um, my stones and stuff like that. Well, not all of them. I've been showing you the ones I've been getting. I'll put it that way. And so I put this in the re for the replay. So not, not everyone is interested in, that, in rocks like I am or um, likes the smell of sage, but I do. So anyways, that's why I put that in there. Okay. Okay, how you doing, Mark? Are you caught up? No, I just sat back down here. Okay, all right. To find out what was going on with the puppies out there. Oh, okay. I'm probably barking at Andrew. No, there's people ro driving around on golf carts and stuff. Oh, know? yeah, they hate the golf cart people. They were arguing, so I didn't know. Uh, yes, I did, Arrow Lover. Everything is mailed. The only people that haven't gotten theirs is Crafty Terry, but hers will be on its way Monday because I just got her address and um, for uh, that. And then... Um, Denny Moore and Mork and Mindy, I need their address for giveaways. Okay? So that's the only thing I have left to go out. Everything else. The necklaces, all the yarn, all everything. All the dibs, yarn, everything has been sent. Okay? So if you're waiting on it, um, if you don't, let's say you don't get it by Monday or Tuesday, email me. Now I'll be able to maybe keep track of my email, since how I dis dil uh Deleted, I started to say dissolved. Deleted almost 5,000 emails. Now I can maybe catch an email now and then. So, anyways, if you don't get whatever you got coming to you by Monday or Tuesday, email me and we will track it down. I don't send out track because our post office list is this long. And it would take me three days to email you guys all and type out all them numbers for everybody. So I don't do it. So if you haven't received anything that you are expecting from me by Monday or Tuesday, please email me and we will track it down. Because I have the tracking number. I just have too many things going out to uh, send everybody's tracking number, okay? I hope you guys understand. This is a lot of work, guys. And if I'm going to continue to do as many giveaways as I am, I have to make it as easy as possible on me and Mark. So, uh, your hubby called and knocked you off. I'm way behind again. I know I am. Love you, Demostis. I love you, Demostis, too, Chris. Uh, Mark and Mandy has been a member for two months. One of our OGs. Aw, oh, Dana Ballard, thank you so much. Congratulations on 4K. Thank you for being here on the YouTube streets. Well, thanks for having me, man. I didn't even know if you guys didn't want to hang out with me. <laughs> hey, Yarn Barf. I didn't see you in here yet. Hello, my friend. And Cast Me Out just became a new member. You rock. Uh, Carmen Lezard. Lezard. Lezard, that looks like. I hope I said it right. Hello and welcome in. Di Smith, hi D, congratulations on 4K subs. Thank you, everybody. This is unbelievable. We just can't even believe it. Kyle's Crochet Corner became a new member. That's awesome. Stitching on a Hill, thank you so much. Antoinette, hello, hello. Let's see. Thank you, Mark and Mandy. Thank you, Dina Kabash. She has been a member for 19 months. Mark's looking good. Love Saturday night being here with you and Dee. Well, we love you too, Dina. Pam Star. Hi, Dee and Mark. Eating supper and listening. Well, you go right ahead. I'm eating supper too. <laughs> I always wait till after the Saturday Lives to eat my dinner, so I'm good to go. I'm pretty hungry by the time we get out of here. Because I don't eat all day, so that's... Probably the reason why I have weight on me. Yeah, because I starved myself. Oh, no problem, Pam. I just wanted you to make sure you know. It is on its way. I sent the email. Everything's good. Okay? Fortunate Nick Creations. Hello, hello. Uh, everybody's saying hello to everybody. Uh, everybody's saying hello to Thress. And Jennifer loves your hat and shirt, Mark. Everybody's saying hello to Mimi. I said, did I say hello to you, Mimi? I think I did. If I didn't, hello, hello. And let's see. 
Yeah, I think you are the only oodles. But there's a oodles of crochet in there. <laughs> you are the only oodles caboodles. <laughs> That's Vicky, by the way, everybody. <laughs> I love that name, so I always call you Oodles and Caboodles. LJ Custom Crochet, hello, hello. If I missed anybody, I'm sorry. Jenny Leslie, hello. Uh, Danette, hello. Glad you could come, girlfriend. Jerry Ann, Gordy, Marty. Oh, I did say hello. Hello from raining California. I heard there's a lot of storms everywhere. Like Some people were getting tornadoes and everything. So if you are, stay safe, my friends. Thank you, Kirsten. Love that hat, Mark. <laughs> Everybody's liking your hat. It's getting summertime. Got to start dressing summery. Um, I wanted to ask you guys something. I do a lot of ordering from Timmy. You guys know that. That's where I get my crochet hooks and measuring tapes and you know all the things I put in the Notion pouches. And you know I've never done a Timmy opening because I figured so many people have done it, and a lot of times it's not crochet. So I was wondering, would you guys be interested in seeing me open Timmy? Because a lot of times it's clothes that we order, um, you know, our crazy hippie stuff. Um, clothes that we order um, or the stuff I put in ocean pouches. I mean, you know, I could always let you guys know what I think of things and stuff like that. Let me know. There's Sharon Loves Purple. So the other one is not the same Sharon. Okay, now I got you. Hi, Ginger Manny. Oh, welcome in, girlfriend. Lee Ramsey, Hello. Uh, Desi needs watch hours, everybody. You guys know how it is. This is a networking place. If you have a channel, you need something, let us know what you need and type in the word drop and Nightbot will drop your channel. And if you would, go out and check out these people. Subscribe. We're all family here. You like the new glasses, Connie? I'm kind of digging them, too, because I can see much better. I don't have that line that was up here. From the short, you know, there wasn't a line in my bifocal. I had, you know, I have the kind without no line, but it was the actual end of the glass, and I, it was always in my vision. It felt like I don't know. It's just it wasn't the right fit for my face. I guess maybe I got a long face. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a short face or something, but it was right in my way. Oh, thanks, fluffy boots. I look marvelous, Mama G. Think so? I look simply marvelous, darling. <laughs> in my nerdy, in my nerdy sheet glasses. I thought that was funny when she told me that. She goes, "Oh yeah, those are nerdy sheet. Those are in." <laughs> I was like, "Well, I'm sorry. I'm not very trendy. I don't keep up with the trends." You want to talk '60s clothes? I got ya. '60s fashion, '70s fashion. I got ya. <laughs> What's going on now? I have no clue. I'm just glad the guys started pulling their pants up and not letting their butt stick out. Are you guys with me? <laughs> I was like, geez, oh, Pete, I hated that era where everybody had the saggy pants and you would literally see their butt or or you would see, you know, their underwear. <laughs> I just couldn't believe that. I just didn't understand that whole thing. I mean, how is that cool? I don't know. I'm just old. <laughs> Knit and crochet. Hello, hello. I, I don't know. Am I old? Do you guys agree? I hated that era, and I'm glad to see the guys are pulling their dang pants up. You see, I see young guys with their droopy pants try to take off running and couldn't because the crotch is down around their knees and their legs would only move this much. I mean, what was that about? I have no idea. Uh, my glass, uh, Pamela Hunter says, my glasses. Just about covered half of my face back in the 70s. That's what I need. I need the bigger the better. This is the biggest one I could find. <laughs> so, am I right? <laughs> when we were looking at glasses, these were probably the biggest ones. No, there was a few bigger ones. Was there? Yeah. Maybe in the fancy, were, bougie. the fancy bougie. Yeah, in the yeah. bougie glasses. Yeah, but I ain't buying that stuff. I'm a wise shopper. <laughs> it's plain and simple. And he give this one to Zoila. Be safe, Mark. Diana D. Did you get it to Zoila? Is it not telling you that what it says? Do you see? Look. Karen Mitchell's been a member for 20 months. I just seen that on here. Karen, you rock, man. 20 months. Can you guys believe that? I had memberships after four months. I must have. Wow. 
Okay, I don't see it at all. I don't want to mess you up, babe. Well, just make sure that Diana D's is um, for Zoila. Okay, and then you need to write the mods down, I too. That was way back. No, this is another one. Oh, okay. Right here. I don't know how far back it... Oh, it's way back. Okay, then, yeah, I got that. Okay, all right. That was... Oh, no, you're out of black dye. I think I, I think I have some tonal black I could give you, Thress. I missed some conversation there. I just know it. I got some tonal black, but the true black, I think I'm about out of myself. Yes, I done Linda Patel. Yeah, I done that. Okay, so if you're just there, okay. Okay. And for, then you got the Linda Padella. Okay, so all right, so now we're all caught up. Thank you everybody for the super chats. I know I zoomed by a few. Hi, Tara Hughes. Welcome in. Okay. All right. It says new comments. Alley artifact. Did you see the alley gifted? Hold on a second. Jim's Anastasia. Okay, I'm going to have to, oh, I, like, hit that button to make it go down. I wish I'd never done that. Not so naughty, no, naughty by nurture, gifted a membership, ship, man, my mouth, I'm almost cussing, <laughs> to knit crochet. Okay, so naughty by nurture, gifted to knit crochet. You'd be interested in a Timmy video? Okay, cool. You like Tim U Halls? Yeah, I I buy from them every month, guys. If it's not for stuff around the house or clothes or stuff for the channel, I am constantly buying stuff from Tim U. And I've never done a haul because I see so many other people doing them. But I thought, you know what? Maybe I should to show people what's worth buying and what isn't. You know, I've actually only gotten two things that I wasn't real happy with. No, three. And one was the uh, plastic egg containers that hold your dozen eggs. I bought a couple of those for our um, fridge, you know, rather than the cardboard carton just to put them in, you know, tidy up, whatever. And um, they would stack two on top of each other, too, so it was kind of cool, you know, underneath the shelf. Well, the problem with them are they warp. I don't know why. I haven't washed, you know, haven't been washed yet or nothing. And the lids won't shut, so don't buy those. Um, one time I bought uh, an extension cord with like a bunch of plugs. That didn't work. Um, so be careful about those ones. I have bought quite a few that you could plug your phone into, and those ones work great. But the ones that were like for actual plugs, for some reason it didn't work. I, I'm not even sure why. But there's only been a couple things on Timu that I would say they kind of, you know, either took me for a ride or wasn't worth the money. Uh, Mimi says they're still bagging pants in your area. Oh, bless your heart. I have to put up with that. I'm just, man. <laughs> I got so tired of seeing everybody's underwear. I'd be like, do they realize? And I guess they did because it got worse. So they did know. They did know they're on, everyone's seeing their underpants. You bought blocking mats from Timu exactly like the ones I planned on ordering from Amazon for $12 cheaper. I know, Timu, I'm telling you. I know it's China. There's a lot of controversy over that or whatever. But I'm all about smart shopping. And I don't even want to get into the politics of it all. But um, I always shop. I wouldn't be able to give everybody crochet hooks and all that stuff if I didn't. I wouldn't be able to afford it. So that's how I am afford to be able to do the giveaways that I do. Because I get all the notions and all that from Timu. I don't get yarn from Timu. Because um, that's another thing. I don't like Timu's yarn. It's way thinner than it's supposed to be. Um, like their milk cotton is not milk cotton. You know, things like that. So be careful with their yarn. <laughs> Make sure you. you know what you're buying. But um, all their notions so far, I've, I've really liked them. So, um, yeah, you hated that era too. First trove. Yeah, yeah, I love my 70s style too, Shirley. I must be way behind again. Um, I know, right? Walking. <laughs> That's so true. They walk in their pants and fall down. And then they try to run the crotches down at their knees. And it stops their knees from bending. You know, it's like, what is the purpose of that, you know? Tara Hughes became a new member. Welcome in. How cool is that? 
Uh, you still haven't gotten that memo yet? Mark, Amy B. gifted a membership to Billy Joe. Got that. Amy Betancourt to Billy Joe. No, I'm all the way down, way down here. Jen Snow. I'm watching that and I get the singles. But Lulu just gifted five memberships. Now I got to get the Oh, thanks, Cindy. Lulu, you rock, Lulu. man. That was free entertainment, Thurs says. The dude's tripping over their pants. I know, right? Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad that people are starting to get away from that. <laughs> yeah, Jen Snow says, and they expected us ladies to swoon. That grossed me out. I don't know about you guys. But I was like, man, pull up your pants. My um, son's tried that for a little while. I go, ah, uh -uh, no way. Pull them pants up. And I imagine once they got out in public, they probably did what everybody else was doing, but they better not come walking up my driveway with them pants down or with their butt sticking out. I'll give that butt something to think about. <laughs> yes, I was that kind of mama. <laughs> Karen Mitchell. Member for 20 months. Hi, dear Mark and everyone. Happy birthday to me. Tomorrow the 14th. Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Karen. Happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> yeah, you wanted to hear that voice sing, didn't you? <laughs> Had my eyes checked yesterday. 2020 vision. You lucky dog. I would love that. You know what my eye doctor was telling me? Nowadays, when they give you cataract surgery, they put uh, they put the lenses in for you so you don't have to wear glasses anymore. Who knew? Now I'm hoping I get cataracts. <laughs> Jeez, so beats. My mom don't had write cataracts. Down there. Don't, don't make me crack up. <laughs> Mark says, don't make me laugh. He's trying to write. I mean, seriously, when they take out your cataracts, now this is what my eye doctor told me just the last week or week before, that now they put in those lenses, I don't know what they used to call it, laser surgery, laser sur not laser surgery. What was it when they put the lenses in? Anyways, they fix your eyes, okay? And you don't have to wear glasses anymore. How cool is that? So if they're telling you you got cataracts, take advantage of that situation. A lot of them still wear the pants. I know I hate that so much. And Yarn Barf bought one for Zoila also. And don't forget to put the mods down, babe. Jay took new sub here and just had to say, I, remember, I love I that room decor backdrop. Uh, yeah, that's absolute craziness. I know. First of all, I'm a yarn hoarder. I admit it. Hello, my name is D. I'm a yarn hoarder. I admit it, but I share. So it's okay. That's the way I look at it. Right, no, if I'm a hoarder and I share, then I'm justified. Okay? <laughs> and the other thing is, is that um, normally we don't have that big box in the way. That's an unclaimed price. But um, normally, you know, like my Shirley Temple doll and my Mrs. Beasley and the flashing lights and all that stuff, you know. I'm just trying to make it interesting for you guys to look at. And those um, doilies hanging over there. Wait, if I go like this the doilies hanging right there that that's my stitch marker collection so that's what that is if i've never told you guys i don't know hi gems by anastasia okay let's see mark what do you need zoila asked oh i'm way behind so i'm i'm zooming guys Lulu. Oh, you spilled Lulu's the last. Lulu's treasure trove gifted five memberships. Okay, I need. To okay, so know. you need that. Yeah, I need to know the five memberships. Mark okay. needs to know the five memberships from Cindy Lulu. Okay. I know. I hate that. Hello, Tat Mama. How are you doing, my friend? How are you feeling? Cindy, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, little hook. How you doing? Okay, let's see. Tap Mama, thank you for the uh, super sticker. I think they call it LASIK surgery or something. LASIK? Is that what it's called? Yeah. yeah, that is what it's called. Yeah, they do LASIK surgery on you now when they take out your cataracts. I asked my eye doctor, I said, do I got cataracts at all? She said, just a little bit. Don't seem, she goes, don't seem so excited. <laughs> I thought that's funny. They told me I'm not a candidate for LASIK surgery. So why? Because uh, my eyes is 
Because you have stigmatism or whatever they call it. I don't know. Huh. Mark has problems with his eyes. He has dry eye and all kinds of He's got to put drops and... Okay, let me see. I'm going to zoom a little bit. Jay took eight smileys. Um, Jay Hook, yes, all the Super Chats count. Mark writes them down in the book, and then we pick a winner. All that kind of stuff. 201 in the house. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Don't forget your thummies. So important. Don't forget your thummies. I am so happy to have all you guys here. And um, I'll reiterate for people that weren't here earlier. My 4K hour, for or hour, 4K celebration is on May 11th. And that's a Saturday, so it's our normal Saturday time, and we're going to have a party. And, you know, when we throw a party, we have giveaways. That's the way we work, where you go. And um, on the 20th is Chris over at Bag of Days, 1 million subscriber giveaway. And so we're going to raid over there that day. And on the 27th, Thrust has a special family announcement. You guys don't want to miss it. Super cool. She's going to have giveaways and all that kind of stuff. And that's 8 p.m. on the 27th. So we're going to rate her that. And uh, Chris Saw Bag of Days is 7 Central. I apologize. It's 7 Central. We're on Eastern time here. So it's 8 Eastern here. Okay. And um, I've changed the giveaway rules. I'm going to say real quick. You have three days to respond. Not seven anymore. It's just too hard to keep up. Um, I've deleted every single email I've ever gotten. I went through and did the best I could at answering, and the rest I deleted because more than people, there was yarn companies and whatnot, and I'm going to unsubscribe and send them over to another, uh, another email. And I need you to put your YouTube name in the subject line when claiming a prize so I know who I'm dealing with. Because emails are different than YouTube names. Real names are different than, e than email names. It gets too confusing. So in the subject, I want you to put what you, you the name I'm looking at here on YouTube. Like Lulu's Treasure Trove. That's what I want you to write in your subject. Then I know that that price, because I write names and put them in there. Okay? All right. So let's get this party started. Let me see. I want to put some more in our monthly giveaway. I'm going to put some hand-dyed in there. Um, this is some hand-dyed that me and Mark dyed. It's very sparkly. I believe I dyed this one. This is the Fuchsia and Cabernet. Kristen F. And so that's two Hanks, and they're DK weight, and they're super sparkly. I don't know if you guys can see them. But those are going in. Okay. I have two skeins of the Ice Yarn. What is this? I'm not sure why I only have two because I don't remember using it, but I must have. So I must have been with me for a while. Um, I believe this is cotton. Let's take it out. Let's look. 30% cotton, 70% acrylic. This is Magic Cotton Knack. And it's in the gray, gray and uh, white colorway. You know, they don't never have colorways and stuff like that or color names or anything. But there's two of those in there. That's going in that big box. This right here, this big bag right here, I fill up every weekend and then at the end of the month, we call a winner for this big bag. That's a whole separate deal. Okay, this is a Cascade okay. Yarns Whirly Gig. Okay. There is 60% superwash merino wool, 20% nylon, 20% acrylic. Um, there's 546 yards. Okay. The color is number three. Anyways, this is the color. This yarn is butter soft, y'all. That's why everybody loves them whirly gigs. They are so stinking soft. Okay, that's going in. And I'm also putting this... This is an opal or moonstone. Not sure which, to be totally honest. It's opal or moonstone necklace. That's also going in the monthly giveaway. I usually put these things in the um, the notion pouch, but there's other things I made in the notion pouch. But this is just, you know, something I'm putting in extra. 
Okay. I got a couple of things, these little things. I wanted to stick in there. Hold on. Okay, these are some of those little minis. They're so cute. This is Red Heart Mini. And um, there is... Doo -doo -doo, makes four pom-poms. Each one of these will make four pom-poms. This is a four weight. 100% acrylic. And how many yards are on these? Here we go. 72 yards. There's two of the same and one of a different color. Aren't they cute? Okay. I think these little cakes are cute. Okay, so those are going in. So those are for making pom-poms. Now if I could just find some pom-pom makers, I'd be all set. I may have ordered some. Okay. Oh, I needed that. Okay, Christie's Honeybee and Hedgehog Creations. Thank you so much for the membership. I'm very... I very much appreciate it. I've never won or been given a membership. This is your first. Well, welcome in. Congratulations. Did you ever get the five people, babe? Yes. You like my new specs? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Kelly Waller. Hello, hello. You didn't miss anything, girl. We haven't given away Lasix. Yeah, that's what it's called. You still need reading glasses. Oh, maybe they aren't able to do this Janet Dixon. She said she just had cataract, cataract surgery. 25-25 vision. Still needs reading glasses. So maybe they can correct the, what is it, the fire vision, but they can't do the near. That's okay. I'd be good with reading glasses, you know. Not have to wear them all day, every day. That'd be awesome. And whose birthday is it, Karen? Happy birthday, Karen. Let's see. Okay. J-Hook. That's not for everyone, D. I'm still legally blind in one eye, Yvette says. Oh, okay. So there's certain circumstances around that. D, thanks for singing to me, my... My eye doctor said eventually everyone will need cataract surgery. Something to look forward to. I know, right? But you know what? They say that it comes on people differently. Like some people, it's just mild and it stays mild and for the duration. Other people, it, it gradually goes over time. And some people get them like boom. So you never know when you're going to get cataracts. My mom had them. And she had the surgery and they were growing back before she before she passed. So evidently... Getting them out doesn't stop it. I love my contact contact lens replacements. This is Deborah Richardson. I can wear the cool glasses. Mine were so bad they couldn't fully fix. Oh, okay. So you got the contact the contact lens replacement, and then you have to also wear glasses. Besides, that's okay. Reading glasses are fine with me. They have to wear them 24. I literally can't see my hand in front of my face if I take these glasses off. My vision is really, really bad. And so I would love, because I literally wear them. The only time I don't wear them is in the shower and in bed. That's it. I have to wear them 24-7. Well, you know, I'm up probably 15 hours a day. So 15, <laughs> 15 hours a day. Seven days a week. Yeah, Amy Bencourt said that they told her that they can correct her very bad vision when they do her cataracts. Congratulations, and you are one of the, the people that can get it done. Everybody's saying happy birthday to Karen. You know what, my mom, Cynthia Bailey, said she's afraid she has cataracts and she's afraid of the surgery. When I took my mom to get hers done, it was bam, bam, boom, and she was fine. It was nothing. It was literally wasn't anything. It was like she didn't even notice. So, yes, D does share. Yes, I do. I share everything. Well, not everything. But I share all my yarny stuff with my friends. Okay, so did you, you got the five, babe? Yes, you're way behind. Okay, I'm, I'm way behind. Okay. Hi, Carly Cheese Brew. I didn't see you come in. Okay, I'm just going to go. I'm zooming, guys. I'm going to, because we're going on an hour and a half already. Okay. 
You give some away. What's that? You're gonna give some tickets away. Yeah. Okay. Well, then. Cataracts get bad to have the surgery. I I know notice my eyes get really dry after being in the tablet so long. Yes. Thank you, Jeannie V. Jerry Ann, Gordo Mart, both of my parents had cataract surgeries and neither one had to wear glasses after the surgery. How wonderful. Believe me, being a person that can't take her glasses off, I would oh my gosh, I would be so happy. D, did you get that Cindy M gifted me a membership? Cindy M gifted uh Desi. You're not there yet? Okay, I'll leave you alone. Let him figure it out. Judy Burns says, even in the shower, I struggle with reading shampoo. Me too. I I have it set up as if I don't have sight at all. I know exactly. And if Mark moves him, I get mad. <laughs> it's like, the shampoo's here, conditioner's next to it, body wash is here, razor's there. You know you know what I'm saying? I got things in certain spots. If you were to move it around in my shower, I'd be washing my hair, body soap, and... Oh, uh, who knows? Condition of my legs and <laughs> who knows? The gifted membership comes up here and then I look over here and I usually find out who it is. So if it's one person, I usually get that taken care of right away. Oh, okay. But it, when it's five people and then I get like... Yeah, my uh, yeah understandable. It, it, I get behind. Yeah. So I put the five down for her, whoever gives them, and then I have to go back to find out who gave me the five. Okay, gotcha. If singles, that's no problem. Your conditioner is upside down. See, we all have our methods, don't we? My youngest eyes are as bad as yours, D. She has to do the whole shower setup, too. Yep, I have to. Hi, Rachel, by the way. I have to because if I don't, I'm, you know, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm not going to use the right product for the right thing, you know. Yeah, put a hair uh, binder around either your shampoo or conditioner. That helps, yeah. See, I must not be the only one. I thought I was the only one crazy person that had to have her things in a certain order because if I don't, I don't know what I'm looking at. Yeah, my, my glasses are progressive. Um, uh, I, I actually have trifocals. This is what, these are trifocals. But they don't have the lines. They're progressive. And that costs a lot of money, let me tell you. They charge you ridiculous amounts not to have the line. But that line is so distracting, and so is the bottom of glasses. That's why I was so happy that these were okay and not out of style, and I look like a dork and all that. <laughs> I wouldn't care anyway, to be totally honest, but I was glad that I could. Uh, Mark, we really appreciate you, Zoila says. But I was glad I could get these big glasses, but they called them nerdy chic. I thought that was so funny. Because I've never been called a nerd. I guess that's not a good thing, right? That means I didn't read a lot of books, or I did read a lot of books, but. I learned that at adjustment to blindness training. Yes. Yep. I know Thrust has things set up a certain way at her house, too. And if I take these glasses off, I do, too. You know? I got my progressive trifocals without lines from Zenny, and they are under $100 a pair, depending upon the frames you choose. They could even be as low as $40. I know, Eileen. I actually um, used to get mine from I Buy Direct, I believe was the name of it, years ago. And uh, I actually, you know what I should do? I should get a, a spare pair, get my prescription, and get some off of the online uh, store there. And get a cheaper pair to have, you know, as a backup. Because, man, if my glasses are broke, they never get lost because they're on my face or they're in a thing, you know, um, on my headboard, a, a glass case on my headboard. So they're never going to get lost because I don't take them off. But one thing that could happen is I could break them, you know, something along those lines. Okay, I really got to rinse, Shirley Bain says, I really got to rinse my hair. The dye has been in since Mama G's live. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thank you again for the membership. See you all in the next one. Therese, thank you so much. As, blind, as a blind woman, I ask that you please sign the petition for universal 
tactile language on products. Me and my blind community have been fighting this for decades with no support from our government. Thrust, you sent me the link to that. I will absolutely, we'll, hey, you know, we should do Thrust. We should put it on our community tabs. That would be cool if we could get a bunch of people to sign the petition. That would be awesome. What she's talking about is a tactile thing. It's like, for instance, you pick up uh, a bottle of shampoo. Okay, a blind person needs to have Braille on there to be able to read it. Okay, a seeing person doesn't, obviously, right? And seeing people like me that take the glasses off and are blind, um, that would be helpful to have Braille on there. Say, this is shampoo, this is conditioner, whatever. That's an absolute need for us. Absolutely, I would sign that. Yes. Yep, see, everybody's saying they'll sign it for us. We need to figure out a way to put it on our community tabs. We'll get a bunch of people to sign that. No, I haven't done ticket giveaways. I'm in a yappy it's mood like tonight, the guys. I'm sorry. And stuff on labels. I mean, okay, that's the that's one thing. I mean, but being blind, yeah, you need that. Yeah, yeah you do need that absolutely. That's a she'll sign because she needs that too. I have adhesive waterproof dots. One for shampoo, two for conditioner, three for body wash. See, we all have our ways to adapt. Yeah. Absolutely, we'll sign it. We'll sign it and we'll get people to sign it. That's the way we roll in here. <laughs> we should have a petition signing party sometime with links and a giveaway or something to make it into an awareness community event, maybe. That is not a bad idea, Christy. Put that in your in your thought process because your brain is a lot more. Uh, your memory is much better, shall we say, than mine, Thrust. <laughs> Put that in your brain. That is a good idea. Thank you, Colleen. All right. I am going to get into some ticket giveaways. I'm sorry. I am very chatty today. Uh, I missed you all. It's been a little, little bit rough around here. And I'm feeling halfway decent today. So I'm going to talk your ears off. Okay, let's see. We're going to give away two tickets. And what you have to do for the new people, what you have to do is you have to type in whatever word um, comes up on your screen in just a moment. And you have to type it in. And I, and I would type it in two or three times to make sure you get counted. Okay, so that's what we're doing. And... Okay, hold on one second. I will share my screen. I want everybody uh, to start typing this in and you will get two tickets in the book for tonight's giveaway and also for the end of the month giveaway here you go everybody that's the word you need to start typing oh thanks Deborah I'm enjoying chatting with y'all too sorry I didn't get to read everybody's stuff the word is love. Type it in two or three times because, you know, we don't trust the, the computers. Let's make sure they count you. And uh, that's for two tickets in the book for tonight's big giveaway right here with the Caron Cakes and the Pounds of Love and the Willow Yarn Wheels and all the notions and the amigurumis and all that stuff that's in here. So type in the word love. Like I said, do it a couple times. It's not as bad as Nightbot, where you got to type it in 50 times. But nevertheless, I don't trust it if you just do once. So, all right, we got 137 so far. If anybody hasn't done it, 139, 140. See, it's, it wasn't counting some folks, so we'll just let it run for a minute. Okay, it looks like we're sticking at 141. Okay, good luck, everybody. Here we go. This is for tickets in the book. 142, 143. Okay. <laughs> it's going to go as soon as I try to push the button. All right. We're at 144. 45. <laughs> well, this, um, just so you know, this puts you in the book for the tick. And we draw a winner for tonight's giveaway, which was that bag I showed you. And then you also are entered in for the big bag. Okay. So that's what that's about. All right, good luck, everybody. Here we go. First ticket winner for tonight. <coughs> 
Gems by Anastasia. Congratulations, Anastasia. It's A N A S T A S I A. Okay. That's our first two ticket winner. Here we go. We're going to try again. Good luck, everybody. Angie Buhanda, congratulations, Angie. B U J A N D A. B U J A N D A. Congratulations, Angie. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. That's your. Uh... My daughter. She's in Kentucky, my daughter, or Tennessee. She went to the wedding and she's sending me all kinds of pictures. That's so naughty crochet, Don LaValle. Just write Don LaValle. You don't have to write not so naughty and all that. Just write Don LaValle. We know who she is. Congratulations. LaValle, right? Yeah, LaValle. Okay. Congratulations, Don. Here we go. One more time. Uh, two more times. We'll do it two more times. Here we go. Look, everybody. Dustin, congratulations, Dustin. 1025. Is that a little chick? Is that what that is on there, Dustin? Is that a chick or is that a... No, a what is that? Is that a chick or not? It's a bird. Yeah, well, it's a bird, yeah, but what kind of bird? I'm looking at your profile, Dustin. I'm sorry. All right. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Here we go again. Okay. Carolyn Lawrence. Congratulations, Carolyn Lawrence. K-A-R-O-L-Y-N. L-Y-N. And then Lawrence is L A W R E N C E. Okay, we got gotcha. you. All right, one more. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Denise Mayer. Congratulations, Denise. Okay, did you do the ones for all the mods? Not yet. Okay, we'll do those now. So there's Soila. Okay, Soila. Uh, Kirsten. Thress. Yarn Barf, and then Mama G. Mama G and Yarn Barf. Okay. All right, congratulations to the winners of the tickets. All right, let's stop sharing that screen. There we go. Oh, you're very welcome, Zoila. Yes, congratulations to all the winners. Home again from work. Thrifty Crocheter, welcome in. Sailor's Delight, hello, hello. Carl Ann, hello. Hey, Sugar Sugar, how are ya? And Jerry Ann says, congratulations to everyone. I know, it makes me, Jay took it, it makes me laugh too. Yarn Barb, took me forever to quit. Every time I said it, I giggled. It took me the longest time not to say it and giggle. <laughs> I've known her for a, year, a couple of years now, so. <laughs> yep, welcome home, definitely. <laughs> Naomi, you got to let me send you that gift card, girl. 15. Oh, eight smiley lady said she sent a PayPal. <clears throat> That bird might be a turkey. I know that's what it looked like. I started to say chick, and then I looked at the feathers. I was like, no, I think that's a turkey. 
Did you hear what I said, babe? No. Um, eight smiley lady sent a PayPal. Okay. All right, we are good. Yeah, I think it's a turkey, too. Dustin, are you still in here? Tell us what that profile bird is. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Janet. Okay, everybody. Um, I think it's about time for us to pick a winner. So if you want to get any last-minute super chats, etc., in there, now's your time. Okay, so let's go through this bag. You already went through the bag. Well, I know, but I show them again before we leave. Okay. Okay. All right, so we'll get on Dolphin Oceans and all that mess. We've got two of each of these. Two of the purple and yellow, and two of the, well, I would say, what did you say, mauves and, and burnt orange, maybe? Oh, well, hey. yellow. Yeah. Kind of so, got two of each of those. Rose, rose whatever. Yeah, rose we've got two of each color. of those. We got some shawl in the ball. Um, this is community coral. We've got two pounds of love in purple, and a Kiron anniversary cake okay and i can't i can't read what the color is because they put it in a way that that makes me not be able to uh if i pull it out of the bag chase i probably might not get it back in okay this is one of those wrist twirly things you put on your wrist this is all the, the candy and doodads from our uh, last month's box that the person didn't claim. So there's suckers and candy bars, and there's also a rainbow clover. There's a lucky uh, golden pot. Where did I put the golden? <laughs> lucky pot of gold. There we go. And then there's uh, felt to make something with your grandkids or whatever. Here's um, These were little bunnies to make with your grandkids out of pom-poms. This is a uh, llama, llama cactus rainbow and hot air balloon. And this is one of those, you know, banners like, but you could take it apart and use it for things. That's what I do. Um, here's an amigurumi from Dollar Tree. Of, even has a hook in it and everything. This is of the little bear. And then we have... A set, whoa, a set of hooks, ergonomic hooks, uh, stitch markers, the needles, darning needles. <laughs> Brain fart. Okay. One of the earrings fell out of the bag. We put it back in there. Okay. There's this little sticker. It's the last one I got. There's a pair of these um, iridescent rainbow colored scissors with a kitty cat paw for a protector. There's a bunch of stick markers and buttons in there. There's a leather measuring tape. Whoa. Okay, and then the made by me things are this turquoise color teal colored bracelet and it has two little turquoise hearts on it and this this will fit anybody's wrist it's uh you know made to like a spring so it adapts okay then we also have the purple iridescent earrings you can't really see them but they're really really pretty earrings then we have the turquoise point necklace and we have two of my hands made stitch markers one is a black and white cat and the other one is a skeleton key with uh, moonstone beads okay so that's what is in our notion pouch for tonight's giveaway okay I'm gonna mention this again um, we have let me take a drink we have a replay giveaway tonight not all the time do I have them, but every once in a while I do do the replay. I got a couple I have to call. So uh, we're going to... Uh, I have a couple I got to call, and then I have a three-day 
uh, where you have to claim your prize now. Oh, I just broke the zipper. I'm going to have to put this in another bag. I knew I had too much stuff in there. Leave it to me to overfill a bag, right? Okay. So the replay, the replay giveaway is an amethyst point necklace. Whoa, hold still. An amethyst point necklace. Some sage. I forget the name of this stone. It has totally slipped my brain. But it's absorbent. And you can put essential oils, perfume, whatever you want on it. It kind of, you know, sucks into the stone so it stays with you. There is a piece of a geode with amethyst stone. There is uh, rose quartz. This is pink. It doesn't look pink on the screen, but it's pink rose quartz. This is regular quartz. There is, like I said, if you're a rock lover like me, you'll love this stuff. There is some fluorite, which is a pale blue. There's two little pieces of that. So another piece of amethyst. And two pieces of citrine, two citrine points. Okay, that is in the replay giveaway. I know it's not for everybody, but if you're interested, the word is rock. Rocks. Rock. Either or. Okay, so... That's what you win all here in this little black velvet pouch. That's the replay giveaway for tonight. And we will... Lava, is it lava stone? That's what I was thinking earlier. They call it something else. Nope, it's not obsidian. Obsidian doesn't have pores. It's not porous. For what? That bracelet. Yes, I love... Exactly, Linda. I love the warmth from Sage, too. Yeah. It's it's a very it's a very clean like a peaceful feeling you get from the smell. You know how lavender if you if you burn lavender or whatever, uh, lavender candles will relax you and make you sleep well. Well, sage kind of does the same thing, but it's you know it's very peaceful. It's a very peaceful feeling when you burn sage. Pumice, I don't pumice, I don't know, Karen. I thought it started with a D. It is complete. I. I know all about rocks, okay? That I know. It's gone. Psh, gone. I'll remember after the live is over with. Lava stones absorb essential oils. Tight I don't. Okay, so then it must be lava. So then I was right to begin with. For some reason, it just I thought it started with a D. And you guys wonder why I say you rock all the time. <laughs> I've been a rock lady since I can remember. I was a little girl. I used to have a little, I had a little plastic bucket. I think it was from Easter or something. I had this little plastic bucket, and I used to go around getting rocks all the time. My mom says, as long as there's rocks in the yard, she'll be good for hours. <laughs> yeah, it's a cleansing. Yes, sage is a, like a cleansing, and it's a calming feeling. And, it, and it's supposed to get rid of the bad and bring in the good. And, you know, there's all different things that, that sage is for. I don't like to get too spiritual on here because, you know, some people don't uh, like that kind of stuff. But I'm Native American. It's a part of me. There's nothing I can do about it. And that we use. It. It's called smudge. And we burn that and and uh, cover ourselves in the smoke for cleansing. So, But I didn't want to get too technical because, you know, some people get a little strange. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. I'm, you know, I'm good. But, I, you know, I do have that Native American in me, you know. My mother was, you know, full blood. My dad was half. And the other half was Irish. So I'm 25% Irish and 75% Cherokee. So I uh, definitely adhere to my heritage. So Maybe I was thinking of assault. Yeah, you might be right, Jay Hook. Jay, I keep wanting to say Jay Hook. Jay Took. Yes. You might be right about that. I don't know. Yeah. Basalt stone. Used in hot stone massage and essential oils. Yeah. Maybe Kelly. Yep. Yeah. Carol yep. G. I'm new to your channel from Northern California. Happy to be here. Oh, awesome. We're getting a Welcome lot of California in. folks lately. Yeah. That's awesome. Welcome in. Glad to have you. Okay, are you caught up? Okay, Mark is caught up. So. I even got to write the numbers now. Okay, I got to All right, you write the numbers. Okay, and this is what we're playing for, guys. This big bag, I'm going to have to get another Mary Maxson bag because I broke the zipper trying to stuff it too full. Hi, our junkie. How are you? Glad to see you, girlfriend. You know what? I should not. I could. 
Some people I should, like with your name, I just assume you're a girl or a guy, and I guess I really should start, stop doing that, calling people girlfriend. Unless I know for sure you're female, right? Whew, I'm getting warm. It's getting warm in here. It's supposed to get like 70 degrees here in Michigan. It'll probably snow tomorrow, but right now it's supposed to be 70. Oh, so good to see ya. Your cat's name is Smudge. Ah, oh, how cool. <laughs> Yarn Barb's cat's name is Smudge. You're a girl. Okay. I just, you know, I shouldn't assume. And shame on me. Ah, uh, thank you, Thrust. I love you so much. <clears throat> okay. All right. Let's get this on the ball. Okay. What numbers are we working with? Okay, the way this works is we ask the lady in the box to pick a number, mark numbers them off for the whole month. This is where we started tonight. There's a line across a line across the page. This is where we started tonight at 1369 and we're at 1521. Alexa, pick a number between 1369 uh, uh, and 1521. One. Here's a number between 1369 and 1520. It's 1419. No, 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 no. Alexa, pick a number between. Write down. Yes. <laughs> Thank Here's you, Thrust. Between three and three. All it's right. three. Just hang on there. She's pushy. <laughs> All right. All right. Now we're done. Yes. Okay. Alexa. Pick a number between 1369 and 1522. Here's a number between 1369 and 1522. It's 1,432. 1,432. That would be Diana D. Diana, oh, where is it? Right there. Diana D. Diana D, you know what to do. You got three days now. No more seven days. You got three days to get a hold of me and put Diana D as your subject so I know it's you. And let me get a little one of my notepads where they all go. Of course, when I need them, they're gone. And Diana D is our ticket winner tonight. Now, don't fret everybody. Everybody that um, did Super Chats and won tickets and all that stuff, you are entered in the end of the month's big box giveaway. And uh, don't forget, well, of course, we're going to be here next week, which is, what is it? Well, next just came in 13. from Little Hook Mel. So oh, thanks, Mel. Out, yeah, Mark's got you on for next week. You'll be on so, next week's. Uh, you are number one, yes. Yep, you are number one for next week, Mel. Well, it's not number one. It'd be 13-something or 15-something. Oh, yeah. But the first yes. one on there. Okay, so don't forget, our 4K is going to be May 11th. Thrissa's announcement party is on the 27th at 8 p.m., so we're going to raid her after this. Crystal's 1 million celebration, I am so happy for her, is on the 20th, and it's 7 Central, 8 Eastern. Okay? So, uh... That's it. Mork and Mandy, make sure you get a hold of me. Demi, Denny, D-E-N-N-I-E, more. I need you to get a hold of me as well. And make sure you put your name as Mork and Mandy, you know, Denny Moore, and email me with your address so I can get those prizes out to you because the cutoff as soon as I get out of here. <laughs> and anyways, be looking out for that uh, second uh, video. I me doing the fancy stuff on the basket for Crystal's giveaway. And I'm looking forward to the next part of the crochet, uh, the shawl along by Bag O'Day. And uh, I'll show you guys once again. If you haven't done it, you would love it. It's a different stitch every row. I absolutely adore this. I'm having so much fun, and I can't wait for her to have the next part. I'm one of those people, if I'm working on something, I want to work on it now. So... I should have just waited till she was all done to start mine, and then I could have just went through and yeah, done it all. Order a couple pizzas. Oh, good. Uh, Mark's ordering pizza for tonight. All right, guys, we're out of here. We're going to go have dinner. Congratulations to our winners tonight. Thanks, everybody, for the congratulations on the 4K. That's so awesome. And we're going to party. 
We are going to party. We're going to have a good time. And uh, thank you for all the new people. Uh, we really appreciate you having you here. And I hope you come back next Saturday. Yeah, In the meantime, large, I'll throw a couple videos. videos out there. Maybe I'll do that Timmy one I was talking about. And then I'll also be finishing up uh, Crystal's basket for her giveaway. Okay, so be looking out for those videos. I also have to pick the replay winner for the mill end. Haven't done it yet. And the replay winner for the uh, ball winder. So I'll be doing those. Oops. I will be doing those in the next day or two because I haven't had time to do it. We've been back for to the hospital. So, All right, everybody. I'm out of here. Good night. I love you so much. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for helping this great big family grow. We all are going to party. This is awesome. Love you so much. See you next time. Goodbye, my friends. We are out of here. We're going to eat some pizza. <laughs>